Hi, boys and girls. Um, my name is Alicia. I work for Consumers Energy. I am a customer service representative. So I answer the phones when your mommies and daddies and grandparents and aunts and uncles or cousins, teachers, when they call in, um, I am normally the one who answers the phone. Um, so today I'm going to be reading Tiny, the Michigan Easter Bunny. Okay. So, one bright Easter morning, while out for a jog, Tiny hears, help! I am stuck in a log. He scratches his head thinking, who could that be? It sounded like fluff. I had better go see. Fluff's in a log with her feet in the air. Hey Fluff, what on earth are you doing in there? A sad little voice from an echoey space says, I thought this would make a good egg hiding place. You poor Easter Bunny, says Tiny while giggling. I'll get you back out. Just hold tight and stop wriggling. Tiny pulls hard using all of his might. He tries and he tries, but his friend is stuck tight. My eggs, sighs poor Fluff, who'll deliver them now? I'll do it, says Tiny. Fluff laughs and asks, how? Don't worry, dear Fluff, leave it all up to me. I watched you last Easter, how hard can it be? This bunny looks funny. Yes, something is wrong. His feet are too big and his nose is too long. His skin isn't furry, it's wrinkled and rough. His tail is too thin and it's not made of fluff. He's run through Ann Arbor and Marquette already. He's all out of puff and his legs feel unsteady. He hops and then stops, then he hops a bit more, then he stops all the hopping and flops on the floor. Hello, squeaks a mouse in his fake bunny ear. Oh my, how you've grown since I met you last year. I'm Marvin, remember? You're running quite late. I'll help if you like. Tiny nods and says, great. They head down to Detroit and rush through the streets, delivering handfuls of chocolatey treats. And straight on to Holland, then Grand Rapids too. There's not much time left, but there's so much to do. Speed up, Marvin squeaks, or we'll finish too late. Dig under the hedge and hop over that gate. Looks like. Tiny's kind of tired. This large Warren house has a fence all around. Poor Tiny tries digging down into the ground. But the hole is too small or his body's too big. How odd, Marvin thinks. I thought bunnies could dig. This large Dearborn house has a really high wall. Jump up, Marvin squeaks. Come on, give it your all. So Tiny jumps up, but comes down with a thump. How odd, Marvin thinks. I thought bunnies could jump. There's something not right, Marvin says. Let me see. He scratches his chin and thinks, what can it be? You're not very fast. Well, just look at those legs. You're not very careful. 
you've cracked half the eggs. You do not have whiskers. You're not good at hopping. Those ears look quite fake and that's no bunny dropping. Aha, now I've got it. He jumps to his toes. No bunny is born with a trunk for a nose. Tiny starts crying. He wails. Yes, it's true. I thought I could do the things real bunnies do. Don't worry, it's fine, Marvin squeaks, being nice. Do you mind if I offer a little advice? You need to start using that talent you've got. Be proud to be you. Don't be something you're not. What talents, says Tiny. What things can I do? He blows his big nose and then, ah, ah, achoo. Eureka, squeaks Marvin from high in a tree. That wonderful big trunky nose is the key. It's strong and it's long. It can pick things up too. It's perfect for seeing this Easter job through. We'll put it to work just as soon as we can. Let's head to Lansing and test out this plan. This house has a fence and this house has a wall, but with Tiny's big nose, there's no problem at all. His long nose lifts up, reaches over the top, and he drops an egg down on the lawn with a plop. And look at that hole in this fence, that'll do. There's room for an egg and a trunk to fit through. Now the job seems quite easy. Well, that's how it goes when an elephant uses his brains and his nose. But daylight is breaking, the sun starts to rise, and home after home stands in front of their eyes. I don't think we'll make it, squeaks Marvin. Oh dear, hang on, Tiny shouts. I've, I've a marvelous idea. He sucks all the Easter eggs into his nose, and when it, his trunk is full, he takes aim. Then he blows. Look at those eggs blasting out of his trunk, landing on lawns with thunk, 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 thunk. The basket's soon empty. We did it. Hooray. Come on, let's help Fluff. Oh, I hope she's okay. Hey Fluff, Easter saved. I will get you out now. Thank you, shouts Fluff. But you'll get me out? How? At the side of the pond, Tiny dips in his trunk. He drinks and he drinks till the water's all drunk. And using his nose as a huge water hose, he blows through the log. Look at Fluff! And up she goes. Happy Easter, Michigan. How many Easter eggs are in the picture? I'll show you guys up close for a few seconds here so you can see if you can find them. Thank you so much. I hope that you have a good rest of your day and a happy Easter.